This is blinding, Dave, because, I mean, everything I've heard, um, you need it to be free-running, and <laughs> this is just incredible. Um, and that's a spindle rail as well. That's not one of the uh, ultra-cast rails. I'll tell you what, John, this rail looks very impressive, but the truth of it is, that'll still be running. And I don't know when. <laughs> now, looks impressive, looks as, you, as you can see. You, oh. you couldn't cast with it. Why it's not? not possible to cast without rail. Because it is too free running. What it is, it's a very, very good rail. But it, that spool is turning to the least possible resistance. Sure. It's good to have a rail that does that. Yep. But what you've got to do, or we've got to do, you've got to slow it down in a controlled manner. All right. It's impossible okay. to cast Look, with that reel. If you're not going to sell me one of those, then then at the very least, I th I, I, I like this level one looks great because it's always a pain. So if I can't have one of those, can I have one of these, please? Once again, no. Oh, come on, Dave. Probably more multipliers in the UK sold with a level one system in place than any other type of reel. Right. Um, and they're popular. Yeah. They've got two reasons. These are what we call bait casting size rigs. They are all bait casting size multipliers. If you actually go on a fish with a plug right. or a spoon yep. and a multiplier, unless there's a lot of tidal resistance on the lure, with a slack line it's almost impossible to fish with a plug or a lure without a level wind system. Okay. That is when they come into their own. But when we surf cast, that bar on the top is preventing you getting sufficient purchase oh, right. but you can't do it. Okay, you so just you got that your, patch. You can't get your thumb. No you can't yeah. and there's an awful lot of anglers who won't believe that. Less of them nowadays but there's still enough and the consequence of it is you cannot get on that spool. That has to be removed. Of course nowadays you just walk into the shop and it's done for you. It's finally stopped Dave. Yeah well uh, Actually, you can make them run faster than that if you want to, but you still can't cast with it. Um, what you have to do is a reel like this. Yep. You will slow it down with the right combination of oil right. and, and even perhaps a brake block, perhaps, right. but not necessarily. Um, you've, got two, you've got two systems of operation. So you're not going to sell me a fast reel and you're not going to sell me a little one? What I'm going to sell you is a 6.5 size reel like this or the Daiwa one. Yep. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to set it up.